Hey Taurus, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. Okay, um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, the tarot decks that I'm using, they're all in the description box below. Okay, so Taurus, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for Taurus in love? This is for Taurus and Moon Rising and Venus and Jupiter in love. We've got the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have um, the Six of Coins. All right, Taurus. Um, at the bottom, underneath that, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, good. So, in this, um, this is a connection, Taurus, where, where I feel like both of you are wanting to connect to one another. Both of you are wanting to reconcile, to talk, to get together. But apparently, it feels like there is no clear map as to how to go about it. It could be, you know, your social distancing or you are in a distance from one another. Um, it could also be that you don't know exactly um, what the other person is thinking about. So the reconciliation, the, the spirit, the energy is there. But um, so far for now, it feels like it's not very clear, you know. The energy is there, but it's not very clear. Are we really reconciling? For those of you who are already communicating with one another, um, this is the uh, the phase where you're just um, testing the waters uh, to see if this person is into it, into reconciling, into getting back together. And you're trying to assess whether um, you know their intentions are real or their intentions are positive, at least towards this connection. And I feel that you are very much ready, Taurus, to speak your mind, to talk about, um, you know, having this discussion, that, hey, um, anything that is confusing you in this connection, um, you're wanting to assess, you know, you're wanting to have that discussion. Um, primarily, Taurus, because your intention, I feel, for this connection is that you really want this connection. You know, you really want this. And it's not just for the sake of chatting, getting to know one another. I feel you have reached a point of you're wanting real commitment here, yeah, from the person that you're, you're dealing with. And you've thought about it. And um, in your mind, you may have some idea on how to give this a try on how to um, get this moving at the same time and how to make it workable at least from your angle and you also have an idea of um, what do you expect from them yeah but there's um, a bit of um, lack of clarity especially um, given that um, yeah there is that lack of clarity that's what I see. Lack of clarity. Perhaps you haven't really expressed everything you want to say. At the same time, you don't know what this person is actually, um, their actual intentions are. Yeah. Their actual intentions are. So there's a bit of um, deceptive energy here, primarily because there is no... Um, in your dealings with one another, you don't exactly show your, your authentic emotions. It could just be in a form of, hey, how are you? I'm good, and um, everything is good, everything is okay. It's very superficial, but what's underneath is not um, shown yet. Yeah. With regards to your person, I feel like if you had a, if this is a person from the past and then you're reconnecting, um, this is someone who's actually um, wanting to heal this connection, Taurus. 
this is someone who's wanting to give it a new try and a new beginning for both of you to um, actually their intention is that um, it's real it's not for fun it's more like taking it slow perhaps and accepting if there was a, a discrepancy or fight in the past um, betrayal or somebody has been hurt here this is someone who has the intention to um, heal or perhaps clear the past and um, have this um, new beginning yeah a new beginning with you a loving beginning even um, for some this could be in a form of forgiveness if you're the one who wronged this person they are now processing or they have actually processed this thought and um, they are ready to move past the hurdle that you've had in the past and then now um, this is someone who's wanting to start working things out working things out with you discussing talking but um, not in a very uh, you know, aggressive way. This is someone who's taking it slow. Okay? And I do see that there is, um, that a balance can be achieved here if you manage to talk um, with authenticity with one another, you know, talk honestly with one another. Yeah. And I know that I, I feel mostly, Taurus, that you are um, somehow quite fired up in terms of you really want this, you want this to work this time, and um, you have plans in mind, yeah, and your plans are actually concrete, solid, and um, you want commitment, yeah, actual get-together, but I feel it's more like, um, at least during this um, time period, I do see that you would still be working towards um, getting that clarity or giving clarity to the other person so there's going to be communication and um, the way you relate to one another it's more like progressive yeah make it more organic yeah no nothing should be forced here if you want happiness nothing should be forced here but in your engagement with one another make sure that you try to put in your authentic self you, you, you express your authentic feelings and your thoughts, yeah? So that clarity can be achieved. But for this week, I feel that you would still be working towards that. It's um, uh, fine-tuning, you know, of um, fine-tuning of your, uh, of how you relate to one another so you can get into that level of clarity. That's what I see, and that's what um, I see for you for this week, yeah? I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that gives you insights. And um, um, Taurus, if you need further readings, I do have them on the screen suggested. Also, you can go and visit my channel. I do have tons of readings in there that you might also enjoy. I have the Taurus Love playlist. Um, also, let me know how this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. Um, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.